Hey what's up guys and welcome back. Today we're going to do some text animations. We're going to do four cool text animations. So let's see what we're going to do. Alright guys, let's get started. So let's start with a new uh, composition, so we can make these cool text animations. Go up here, and then are we going to do a text? Go in here, like so, and type text. So, and we can align it to the center. And then are we going to add some bevel and bows here? So we go in, right click, and go to layer style, and go to bevel and bows. And we go down here to bevel and bows, and we can set this so chisel hard. Like so, so we get uh, this um, edge on the texture. Like so, and we can do so that we are going to, um, we can rename this to, uh, we can call it text one. Then are we going to duplicate this text so we have some text to work on. Then can we just um, press Ctrl D three times. So we have uh, three or four text layers. Then can we just uh, disable. So we begin to work on the first one here. Here are we going to add some effects. We're going to um, add some um, CC Bender. CC Bender. So, and we can drag it on. Now, then are we going to um, do like so, that we are going to mark the layer and press P. We can set a um, keyframe. We set the keyframe. And we can drag this keyframe forward, because this is what we're going to end up like so. And then can we drag this text up? So we have the start position. We want to have it just outside of the composition, composition like so. And then can we mark those keyframes and press F9 to ease ease them. So now that we have that text like so. And then can we go a little bit before it uh, hits the bottom here. Can we go up the amount here? And we, we have to change this first here. We're going to set those positions. We need to have those positions on the side here, like so. We're also going to change the style to Marilyn, like Marilyn Monroe, and she's going to move her hips. So we can set this a little bit up for it's now good enough. And we can set the keyframe there, and then we go forward a couple of frames, like so. And then can we set this to, um, let's see, minus 22. Yeah, that's fine. Then can we do like so we mark the layer and press U so we can see the keyframes. Then can we go forward a little bit more? I think around there is fine. Then can we set this so we set this here to um, minus or to 10. We can set this to 10. I think that's fine to 10 like so. And then can we go forward a couple of frames? And we can set this to uh, minus 5. Just work this way up and down. Go a couple of frames. Less frames every time. So we can set this to 2. And then can we go forward a couple of frames again? Like so. And we can set this to 0. Then can we um, mark the frames? And uh, press F9 to ease ease them. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, perfect. So in this way, so do we have this bouncing text. Cool. So now can we disable this layer and we can begin to work on the next one. So we can enable text 2. And now we're going to do this lens effect here. So we can go up here and we're going to add this um, CC lens. CC lens, like so. And we drag this down to the layer. Like so. And we can set the um, size to um, zero here. And we can set a um, keyframe down. And we mark the layer and press U so we can see the. Here can we set, I think around one and a half second. Can we um, drag this up? Let's see here. I think around 300 is fine. And then can we go back here? And we can also set a keyframe here for the. Well, this and then can we go forward 
here and we can set this to zero so we, go, we get away with that there is some bending left there if we print, press uh, u a couple of times so we can get the keyframes then can we um, mark the keyframes and um, press f9 to ease, to ease them so let's see what we have here now cool in this way so can you make this uh, animation with this lens animation quite cool so don't we have um, the lens animation so let's uh, jump into um, the third text animation here. this is the fly in and we can see famous uh, animators like video co-pilot Andrew Kramer doing this and I like to do this myself and this is quite easy to do we just do like so we uh, begin to um, set this to a 3d layer by enabling this icon and then are we going to do so we're going to press p for the position and we can set a keyframe this is going to be the end position and we can drag this forward around uh, one uh, one and a half second then can we set here and we're going to set um, this to minus 3000 let's see here I think that's fine and then can we just um, mark the keyframes and press f9 to ease ease them and now can we see how does this look yeah not too bad but i think we're going to go in and we're going to in the graph editor and we're going to mark this edge here and we're going to drag this to the side as far as we can like so and we can go back here and we play yeah so we get this more soft landing with the text I really like this uh, animation here. So here do we have this fly in animation. And now we're going to do the fourth animation. This is a little bit more complex. Also in this animation, so we're going to use effects. We're going to use set math and roughen edges. So we can mask out the text. So it looks like it's growing up from the ground. And now we're going to take the pen tool, but uh, we have to unselect the layer first. So we press here to so unselect everything. And then can we begin to um, add a point over here? And we add a point over here. So we close quite close to the text. And we can add a point over here and point over here. So we get this square. And here we're we going to add this effect. We're going to add the rough and edge. Rough an edge like so, and we can drag this down to this layer. We can we can rename this to mark it and press enter and you can call it mask like so. And we can do so the border. Let's see where it can be good. I think we need to have 200. We can set the sharpness to three because we want to have this edge that's um as you say, oh, maybe we can we can see if we can get this even better. Sometimes I can get a good edge here because we want to have as an uneven edge as possible. Let's see if we add even more here border. No, it doesn't really want. Then we can do so. We can go up and take the pen. We can make this edge. Can add a couple of uh, points that we can drag down so we get a more uneven edge like so we want to have as uneven as possible so let's see we can um, do so we um, unselect it and we go to text 4 and here we're going to add a set mat so we're going to use this as a layer mask so we can um, reveal and hide text like so and then can we do so that we um going to press b for position and then can we drag this down like yes so and here do we also have to enable effects and mask so it can see that effect that we have added to that layer so and then can we do so that we um, go up here and we can see when it begin to um, see the text we begin to see it over there and then can we set the keyframe 
we can set this keyframe over here so we say keyframe there and then can we set the end keyframe about 10 or 6 seconds forward and then can we begin to drag this up like so and when we see that effect we don't see any we can see the whole text can we say like so there can we set the end keyframe and we can uh, do so we can mark those um, keyframes and press f9 to ease ease them and we can see we can enable this we can see how does it look like so and we can go back and we can unselect it so we can see so then can we see how does that look ah it looks quite nice you can always tweak this uh, mask layer so it looks even better so you get that uneven edge but i think this looks quite cool you have a quite uneven edge that's building up from the bottom so the text grows up and there we have all those cool text animations i hope you have learned something here today that you can use in your videos and if you like the video please uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like so you can also support me on patreon you have a link below it's always appreciated so i can continue doing videos like this but i hope to see you in the next video so i can only say now or not